YouTubers, and I'm back for another YouTube video of what would have happened if this were in real life round two mark two gameplay series. Now, I've been trying over and over again, coming up with like a new topic and in, you know, very obvious ways. I mean, I have already have one in mind, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, I guess it kind of does make sense because, you know, very obvious and, uh, very different, so, um... Yeah, I guess I kind of do enjoy doing all these because, you know, it feels so great. It's obviously great, very good. And, I mean, I have one for today's, which I have already, already know what it's going to be. Now, keep in mind that this is another one of those DreamWorks sequel movie idea of what would have happened to this were in real life Final TMRT gameplay series YouTube video because the last one I did was the Kung Fu Panda 4 movie one. And I'll and I forgot to mention that I did the Penguins of Madagascar 2 one, so yeah. And the other ones that I, al that I also mentioned in the Kung Fu Panda 4 one, so yeah, I guess that kind of does make sense, so yeah. So this is what would have happened if the B movie 2 were in real life. Now I'm just saying that the movie wasn't, you know, very great by some people. But this is just if they, if it actually did, if B movie actually did well, if the, if B movie by DreamWorks actually did well and actually did very well and got and it got a sequel. So here's ten, technically how it would play out. So we cut open to the beginning where Barry Benson and Vanessa are enjoying their own separate lives, one in the B world and one in the in one in the human world, which I guess kind of does make sense because you know they're enjoying themselves and then you know and then you know everything seems perfectly great. Now, and then of course we get a flashback to a young Barry Benson who actually grew up watching, who actually grew up, who actually idolized a, uh, idolized a bee who actually, who actually found a way, who, who actually idolized a bee who, um, who was actually a far more, who was actually famous for, you know, turning, uh, who was actually, whose science was actually, Who's fa who was famous for his, uh, for a his scientific creation that he created that turns bees into humans, which I guess kind of does in be it, that turns bees into humans, and he's technically sort of like a scientific bee. So you can think of this guy. So I'm gonna call him. Um, I'm gonna call him. Uh, call him Beaver. 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 Be Beaver. Bee son. So Beaver Bison is actually is actually um is actually is actually an idol to um is actually an idol and some what sort of like a hero to um their young Barry Benson and then just and then he said and then and then Beaver Be, Be uh, Beaver Bison says that that can you can you save can you take all the, can you find a, can you make all the honey, can you save all the honey from dying, and then just like, just like Beaver Beeson, Barry Benson did everything, did everything as to get all the honey, to get, to make sure no honey was ever stolen, which I guess kind of does make sense, and then of course they talk about how Barry Benson almost destroyed the human almost destroyed the human race by no longer adding a lot of like stuff to it and then and then it all leads up right to the very beginning where where very where Barry Benson it all leads up, leads up right to present day where Barry Benson and uh and Vanessa are enjoying are enjoying their lives one uh, one of which is enjoying themselves as a pollen jock and the other one is enjoying as a flower hip shop uh, uh person I don't know that uh, kind of does make a lot of sense. So it all leads up to the very beginning, where of course they, where of course now bees, the bees have befriended the humans, and and uh, mainly the bad one, and mainly the bad ones. Well, the bad ones just left, you know, their place. It, it, yeah, that's kind of just how it went. Like, yeah, and then of course Billy Benson and the, and the, and the, and Vanessa now talk about their futures. They now talk about their futures in in the hopes that they can in the hopes that they can build some sort of like big society, big new society, where they can build some sort of big new society in a new planet where all bees and humans can actually can actually breathe in a different planet and live together in great 
in great conditions. But they wouldn't, like, you know, but they wouldn't, like, let any, but they wouldn't let any, like, bears into the place. They would have to make sure that there's no, like, alien bear creatures. So they would eventually call their future new society the, the bee man, the bee, the bee, the bee woman, the bee woman, the bee woman, um, new way, they would call it bee woman, uh, Planeteers. So bee, uh, bee woman planeteers. So bee woman. So planet bee women, women planeteers would actually be the name of the whole thing. And then of course, just out of nowhere, and then just out of nowhere, beaver be, beaver bee son. Now now full grown, fully grown uh, adult bee. Well, technically not an old bee, just an adult bee comes over and then Barry Benson is all like whoa you're finally I can't believe that you're finally back after all these years and yeah I guess it kind of does make a lot of sense because you know I wanted it to be like this you know kind of get it so yeah it kind of does make sense so Barry Benson did, accepts it uh Beaver B son's offer then they eventually then they eventually have to go through like a lot of then they then they eventually go through like their new society called B woman uh, B woman uh, B woman uh, planeteers so B woman planeteers just so happens to be a very great new planet that's that somehow it is created that somehow they created in in the near future that somehow was created in the near future which honestly, I think this is actually a very good, very good uh, movie sequel, I sequel movie idea. Which honestly, I think it is. That is up until when Beaver Beaver Beeson actually tells tells them tells Barry Benson that you know their old world was actually was actually corrupted by bear by bear alien cre by actual bear creatures that come from like a different reality. And if they succeed in conquering the Earth, then there will be no more. Then they will have a huge, probably have a huge army to destroy the bee in human society, and take it and claim it as their own. So Barry Benson he eventually agrees to this, and the Beaver Bee Son actually tells him to not tell anyone about it and make sure everyone and make sure everyone uh, doesn't panic about it or ever knows about it so think of beaver b son sort of like a chester b to um sort of like a chester b to um barry B benson so think of it some sort of like that you can think of it some sort of like that that's kind of how i wanted it to do because you know it felt very obvious it felt very great so yeah i guess that kind of just makes sense so barry benson tells but now so that they have to go to a different, they have to go back to Earth where, uh, uh, because go back to Earth to stop bear, bear creatures from different realities to, from conquering, from coming to Earth and conquering Earth and then using their own, their own home, uh, their own past home world, their own past home world to destroy theirs and then claim that one as their own, which is kind of the idea. Which is kind of the idea. So Vanessa agrees, and then you know, like I guess she's kind of the only person who ever agrees to it. So she eventually agrees to it, and then they all, you know, go on one big. They all go on one big star, big galactic. Um, they go on one big galactic. Um, a spaceship, spaceship to spaceship. Um, uh, adventure. They all go on one galactic space spaceship adventure which i guess kind of does make a lot of sense now keep in mind that this is my idea because you know it felt very obvious so then very uh, benson and vanessa they eventually get they eventually go back to their home world sometime later in the future uh, sometime in the future only to find out that most of their stuff most of the world has already been destroyed and well you kind of get the idea for most of this so most of the world was destroyed and that kind of does make a lot of sense which I guess kind of does make sense and then Barry Benson actually gives them a little bit of comedy because it's Jerry Seinfeld there can be there can be some comedy in there which I guess kind of does make sense only however this was all a trap however this was all a trap just like how uh, and then there however Barry Benson says it's a trap which is the same thing 
which is the same thing that Admiral Akbar says, so pop culture referencing that line, that famous iconic quote, and then, you know, Barry Vinson and uh, Vanessa only find out, only to find, and then Barry, Barry, and then, and then Barry Benson and Vanessa find out, find out that it was all a trap and that, and that Beaver B-Sun was actually using them to find Earth, to find Earth so that he can destroy, so that he can use Earth to destroy them, so that he can use Earth to destroy them and their new, and their new society-like planet. In a new being human society like planet that's from the future. So, uh, Barry Benson is all like, No, I looked up to you, Beaver B Sun. And, and then when Beaver B Sun got what he wanted, everything eventually seems perfectly fine. That is until Ken from, that is until Ken, who is somewhat sort of the antagonist from the first film, actually saves Barry Benson and tells them that the whole you know world is gonna get destroyed that their whole new world is gonna get destroyed gonna get destroyed by Beaver B Sun. So Kevin and Van and so so Ken and Vanessa they eventually agree to destroy the they eventually agree to destroy the uh the whole thing. They they eventually agree to destroy, you know, Beaver B Sun and the and they try to get the Earth back from him. In an all epic fight, fighting battle scene and then where the beings and humans go against Beaver B Sun Beaver B Sun and his and his and his army, of course. And then of course and then in course in other words, Ken of course sacrifices himself Therefore, because you know Ken is sort of like the pro sort of like the antagonist in the first film, then in the second movie, he then is an antagonist. Then he's a protagonist, and then he dies, which I guess kind of does make sense. Barry Benson eventually forgives Ken for all the bad stuff that he did in the first movie, which I guess kind of does make sense. And then, it, and then you think it ends right here. Well, it doesn't. Beaver Beeston is banished to banished to a dark reality where he can't escape. And uh, Vanessa has her. And a few couple of years later, a few couple of years later, uh, Vanessa has her own family and uh, two kids, which I guess kind of does make sense. I'm just saying that Vanessa finally has wife and kids. Barry Benson finally has his own wife and kids, and, uh, and that, and, uh, and, you know, Adam, you know, the guy, you know, you know, Adam, the guy that, the, the guy Matthew Broderick played in that, he has the honor of being the godfather of uh, Barry Benson's children, which I guess kind of does make a lot of sense, and I figured it all does, and then they all live happily ever after the end. And then we get a post credit scene where John Goodman's character, I forgot who he was, he steps in, he steps in at, to take a Beaver B Sun's place as he now transform, as transforms himself to, into a B Lord and a, and a B Galactic Lord and, and uh, in the hopes that he can take his place and saying, in saying to a uh, dying um, Beaver B Sun, don't worry, I will finish what you started. And then Captain Black he gives out an evil laugh, and that, and that was th this is, and that was what would have happened if the B movie two were in real life. Now, I think it's actually a perfectly good m sequel movie idea. I mean, you know, when you think about it, it's very great. So yeah, I guess it's very great. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for.